Ahoy! I'm going to do a quick video on bottom feeding of fish in Russian Vision 4. Um, if my rods will stop tinkling away and let me. Um, okay, so uh, a lot of beginners, when they finally level to bottom feeding, they have literally no clue where they're going to go. Uh, first things first, um, getting a cheap set of rods um, is a very good starting point. Um, I will advise that some of the, the basic uh, kits um, that you'll find in the in-game in the in-game shop actually work very well. Um, so uh, I, I would set uh, maybe 200 silver behind for bits and pieces to start with. Okay, uh, just to have a quick look on the shop um, in-game, there are lots and lots of different types of feeder rods. Um, they all have their own little characteristics. Uh, some uh, some of them can be very very powerful for catching little fish. Uh, for that, you want sort of the lowest test possible. Some rods have multiple different stiffness quiver tips. Um, the Asteria, being my one of my older rods, um, is very good at, at um, being able to uh, switch from a very lightweight tip to a heavy tip depending on what size of fish you're trying to catch. You know, if, if you're trying to catch pike, for example, you want a, you know, a nice big uh, bait fish. Um, and, you know, the rod's just got to be able to take the beating from it. However, this is going to be something that happens quite late game. So see your rod as a bit of a long-term investment. Um, when it comes to setup bow, um, there are a few things to note uh, in general. Um, fish vary in size, so you need to make sure you've got a, a reasonably ranged uh, strength of reel. Um, if you're trying to catch very large carp, you know, a little asserty is not a good idea. Um, the line thickness can affect um, how well uh, you catch fish, um, because some fish are timid from from large large thick lines going in however this can be counteracted with leaders uh leaders are basically um a short length of a different weight line between um the weight and the hook so it doesn't get you know doesn't really give itself away that it's a hook line um the larger your, your fishing weight the larger uh, larger distances you are going to cast um, however, if your main line isn't strong enough for your weight, you do possess the uh, one for ability of sending your weight careening off into the distance um, while your line stays on your reel. So <laughs> you've got to be careful about your, your setup. Um, hook sizes affect your catch, um, little hooks, smaller fish. Um, some can affect the larger fish with a higher bite rate. Large hooks will deter smaller fish. Um, however, the catch rate on the larger fish will be lower. But sometimes there are other factors that affect this. Um, for example, you know, you can put a massive great big hook on and you'll still catch a tiny little rough. Um, they will literally eat anything. Okay, so another thing with bottom feeding is ground bait. Ground bait is used to affect the size and frequency of the fish. Um, it will largely scare away any non-targeted species, um, which can be beneficial and be a curse at the same time. Um, but as I said, it's literally size and frequency and helps you target your fish. Uh, where you cast your rod largely matters uh, according to sort of depth what you're trying to catch if you're after little fish you know you want to fish nearer the edge uh, although some smaller fish like rough do lurk around in deeper waters um hit the right button one day i'll get the right button um largely you know if you're going for larger fish you'll go for deeper waters uh in my case i'm after a medium-sized fish so i'm going Basically, not for the deepest waters. I'm going for the average uh, depth for the uh, water. Uh, 
something kind of large here playing this lovely little Asserti. I haven't got a clue what it is. All I know is it's um, doing quite nice for a, uh, for a new brig. Right, so another thing to keep an eye on is tension on your reel. Um, you can catch larger fish on tiny little reels. You've just got to be brave enough to do it. Um, some really big fish will have a tendency of biting through lines, but that's pike. Um, and that's where leaders will also come in, in handy. This silly little reel. <laughs> Bring back the OG Lacerti, that's what I say. Don't know what this is going to be. I reckon it's probably be uh, maybe a, a kilo or so of, of something like common carp or uh, something stupid. There we go. Okay, I'm going to end my video here. Uh, I'm going to let the video play out um, on a few of the various uh, annoyances and distractions um, that have occurred during the course of uh, uh, recording and editing. So, uh, thank you for watching. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like a white bream. Oh, not bad. Nice chunk of white eye. Why, thank you, evil jock. <laughs>